Hey guys, Val Topolu here uh, with another guitar lesson. So I received a request to do a lesson on bar chords. And what I'm about to teach you is going to be very monumental to your growth as a guitarist because uh, when I learned this, I remember when I was taking private lessons, uh, when I learned this, it changed uh, my guitar playing. It changed my guitar journey. It made it funner. But it also made it more challenging. So if you're a beginner, uh, this is going to be a little bit more difficult for you. So if you're wondering, okay, like where do I start with bar chords? And the first form that I'm going to show you uh, comes from an E minor form. So if you remember, E minor chord, right, open 2-2. Two, two. Now all we're going to do is we're going to bar the second fret. And you're going to take your pinky. You're going to put your pinky on the D string, 2nd fret, and then your ring finger on the 2nd fret of the A string. Okay, That's going to give us an F sharp minor. Now, here's the key. When you take this E minor form, your root is the low E string. So if I was to say, play an F sharp minor, okay, you have to ask yourself, where is the F sharp note? on the low E string. So E, F, F sharp. So here's F sharp. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna bar, and you're gonna apply that E minor form, okay? Why do I say E minor? Because this form right here, it is an E minor, okay? It's an E minor that comes from just your typical basic E minor chord. Now, so now if I was to say play an A minor bar chord, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to locate your A note on the low E string. So right now, all we're doing is we're working off the low E string, okay? So where is your A note on the low E string? Boom, fifth fret. So what you would do is bar the fifth fret, apply that E minor form, okay? So all we're doing is just that we're applying that E minor form. So now you have the pinky on... The D string 7th fret and then your ring finger on the 7th fret of the A. Okay? Now if I was to say play a C sharp minor bar chord. Okay? Remember all we're doing is we're working off the low E right now. So first step is locating your C sharp note. Okay? So C sharp is going to fall all the way on the ninth fret. Okay? So you locate the root Okay, and then just apply that E minor form. Okay. So this is E minor bar chord that we're learning. It's that E minor form. Okay. So notice, and I move this form down. I can move it all the way up the neck. So, so let's let's go from the first fret. So that first note is an F. So F minor. F sharp minor, G minor, G sharp minor, A minor, A sharp minor, B minor, C minor, C sharp minor, it keeps going, D minor, D sharp minor, and back to E minor, okay? Now, when you start bar chords, let's be honest, they're going to sound like this. In fact, I remember when I got to the stage of bar chords, I quit guitar for a whole month. And I'll never forget, when I was in high school, my mom was like, why aren't you playing? And I was like, I'm done. It's way too hard. And then I finally picked it up a couple months after. But the reason I share that is because bar chords is a hurdle you will have to jump in guitar, okay? You know, you start here, you start playing the basic chords, but you have to learn your bar chords. So we just learned the E minor form, okay? Now we're gonna learn our A minor form. A minor, here's your A minor chord. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, our root changes. So because it's an A minor form, our root is the A now. Okay, so we're only working off of the A string. Okay, now check this out. So if I was to say, give me a C sharp minor bar chord, okay, you're gonna take your A string and locate the C sharp. So A. A sharp, B, C, C sharp. 
After you locate your root, you're just gonna apply the form. And now you play that A minor form, okay? Why do I say A minor form? So right now I'm cap I'm, I'm capoed. I barred the fourth fret, okay? Now if I take this off and slide all the way down, that's an A minor chord. So I'm playing the A minor form right here. So here's what I have, bar the fourth fret, okay? And then middle finger, is on the B string fifth fret, okay? Okay. Pinky is on the G string sixth fret, and then ring is on the D, um, uh, the sixth fret, okay? So that's a C sharp minor using the A minor form. Because remember, I'm using this A minor chord, but I'm just barring. So if I was to play an E minor, using the A minor form. So I would locate the E. So we're working off the A string. So A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E. And then just apply the form. So that's an E minor. Okay, so so far I just taught you two forms. The E minor form and the A minor form. The E minor form is based off of the low E root, okay? The A minor form is based off the A. So if I was to say play a C sharp minor, you can play a C sharp minor by locating your C sharp off of the low E string and applying the E minor form, or locate, locating a C sharp note off of the fourth string and playing the A minor form. Okay, so watch this. It's the same chord. It's the exact same chord. If I was to say play a B minor bar chord, you can locate your B off of the low E string, which is on the seventh fret. And because it's off the low E, we use the E minor form. Now, if we were to locate the B minor bar chord off the A string, it'd be on the second fret, and our form changes. So it's not E minor, it's A minor, because we're working off the A. I know this is a lot of information to take in, but this helps so much. Now, now, here, now here's what I want to do. I want to give you a progression that's actually going to sound good with these bar chords. So here's the progression that I'm going to give you. I am going to give you C sharp minor. to F sharp minor, just two chords right now. In fact, the song that comes to mind is Jack Johnson's song, Never Know. I heard this song start the phone. I'm getting carried away. So, C sharp minor, which is gonna be bar, the fourth fret, and then you're gonna play your A minor form. So you have your middle finger on the 5th fret of the B, pinky on the G of the 6th fret, and then ring finger on the D of the 6th fret. So that's your C sharp minor on the 4th fret. Now you're going to go to the ninth fret, same form. Okay? So C sharp minor. Next chord I want to give you is a different shape. So far we know the E minor form, we know the A minor form. Now I'm going to teach you the E form, E chord. Okay. So when you're working off the E form, okay, you're working off the low E string. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to play a G bar chord. So what you're going to do is locate the G note and apply the E form. Not E minor, but the E. Okay, so you have your bar in the third fret, and then middle finger is on the uh, G string fourth fret, pinky is on the fifth fret of the D, and then ring is on the A of the fifth fret. That gives you a G bar chord. And you can slide this down, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D. Okay, it goes all the way down. Okay, so um, back to our progression. We have C sharp minor, 
to F sharp minor, to B, and back to C sharp. So you have C sharp minor, one, two, So you have C sharp minor, F sharp minor, B. Now if you want to play E, this is a really hard bar chord, okay? It's an A form, okay? But what I'm doing there is I'm barring the seventh fret, uh, a, uh, barring the seventh fret, and then I'm playing an A form on the ninth fret. What's an A form? Just a regular A chord, but instead of playing it this way, X open two two two, I'm just barring it, okay? So I have that. In fact, let me give you that progression. C sharp minor. C F sharp minor. B. 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 So I just showed you four different forms, E minor, A minor, E, and A, okay? Now what's cool is you can slide those forms all over the fretboard. That's what makes it so cool. So, so check this out. So say you play that E form, you're on the G, just keep going up, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, C sharp, C, and it goes all the way. And, and one of the cool styles where they use bar chords, I'm trying to think, Jack Johnson. Johnson, Magic, uh, all these other bands, you will use in them. So, um, I know this was a lot of information in a 13 minute lesson, but rewind this video and uh, hopefully this was helpful. You know, you know, when I learned this, it really encouraged me to dig into different styles of playing. And uh, the more different styles you have in your pocket, the more of an effective player you'll be. So, thank you guys for checking out this video. Be sure to subscribe. Got more videos coming your way. God bless you guys.